Hi everybody, this is Alan Anders speaking to you from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Montal, Germany. Today with a 1961 Epiphone Casino. Uh, as I learned, still dot uh, markers, the so-called Mickey Mouse, you know, shape, black uh, dog ear pickups, as opposed to the nickel silver ones of the later years, a light guitar, the, the, the casino, still the old Epiphone headstock, not the narrow one. So early features. Um, casinos are a special breed because they're all hollow, there's, there's no sustained block. And uh, the neck joint is on the 17th fret as opposed to uh, like 335s or so on, where the neck joint is on the 19th fret. So it's, it's a little different, you know, from you know, the feel, but they're very beautiful, very lively instruments. Show the pickups by themselves. This is neck pickup. Very beautiful, big single coil pickup, P90s, but powerful, you know. Middle position. And bridge. And of course, this is the, as I said before, it's the Beatles rhythm guitar sound of the later years because uh, John Lennon used the casino in the late years of the Beatles. And, and you can't get the sound with any other guitar. It's, it's, if you put, plug that into a Vox AC30, you're in Beatles country immediately. But as I've, you've heard, and as I said before, Grant Green, of course, was a played an ES330, uh, famous jazz guitarist, and this is absolutely possible since 330 is pretty much the same guitar. Uh, absolutely possible to play jazz with these guitars and all other stuff. Blues is great too, and they're light, and they're you know very lively and beautiful instruments. It's a 1961. Epiphone Casino, and that's Alini Under from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Maintown, Germany. Thank you. Bye bye.